place winners from this competition will go to the Worlds. They'll be on the United States team for the Worlds, and I really want a place on that team. I really want to be on it, because I feel like, well, I just think that I could do really well for the United States and for myself. She has the mental attitude, the, the physical capabilities, she has the emotional awareness and the energy, and she has the dedication and the devotion to the sport and to herself, and she's a true champion. Pam Meister of Santa Monica, California, is recognized as pound for pound the strongest woman in the world. Weighing in at less than 105 pounds, Pam can lift well over three times her own weight in the deadlift. She's the current National Woman's Power Lifting Champion and is working day and night in preparation to defend that title. Next few minutes, I want you to think of nothing. Just listen to the sound of my voice. I'm only going to help When your fingers feel the cold metal, you will feel more strength than you have ever felt. Yeah. Mind you that you can deadlift 350 pounds. Yeah. I remember every... I've never had anything in my life that I, that I liked as much as powerlifting. I used to tell my mother when I was little that there was something that I was going to do. And I tell you, the minute I started lifting weights, I, I told my mom, this is it, mom, I love it. The, the reason that I love it so much is because I can win. Every time I walk in the gym and do two pounds more than I did before, I win. There are dangers and okay, there are yes. problems with competitive powerlifting. I've seen people walk in the gym and do a very heavy squat and they're carried away and they don't walk again for a long time. They blow their knees out, they break bones. I know that on a heavy deadlift, three times my body weight, three and a half, my back, my spinal cord could snap, it could break. You know, I know that in the back of my head. I, I know it could happen. Yeah, come on. What? Hey, what you do is it's just a total concentration. You've got to see yeah. yourself doing it. You've got to know that you can do it. The attitude's got to be there. It's me and the bar at that time, and I'm going to win this one. That's all there is to it, because there's no way I'm going to let that piece of metal tell me that the rest of my day is going to be bad, or the rest of my week, or in this case, the four, next four months. In powerlifting competition, the athletes must strain to lift as much weight as possible in several categories. The competitor with the greatest overall total wins. As the competition drew to a close, Pam was in an unusual situation. In a class she has always dominated in the past, she was now trailing a virtually unknown competitor by more than 12 pounds overall. Pam was taken by surprise. The situation seemed hopeless. After you've lived, slept, and eaten powerlifting, to have somebody come up out of, out of almost nowhere, it's just overwhelming. I know every time I enter one of these meets, I can be beat, but still, Somebody was going to beat me at my game. I was scared to death. I hated the fact that somebody was going to beat me. I, I had to look at her and think, ooh, I hate you. I, I won't let you do this to me, and I won't let it happen. I had to take my and my and against myself. I had to start competing against against somebody else. It was just like, take my psych and kind of switch it. I hated her. I didn't hate her personally. I hated the fact that somebody was going to beat me. There you go. I wasn't going to take a first place unless I did something, unless I pulled it out. Came down to the very last lift, the very last deadlift. I had to pull some, whatever would make me 12 pounds ahead of her, five kilos. And it was, it was a lot of mental control. I had to sit down and talk to myself a lot. When I sit there all by myself, you don't know how by myself I am. It's just amazing. What she tries to do is put herself uh, in her own little space so that even remarks that you may make, she wouldn't even hear. And that way she can concentrate on, on her sole single effort. 
which at this point is it's just to get her to the platform and lift one weight one time in order for pam to come from behind and win the competition she'll have to lift 362 pounds that's more than she's ever lifted before if she can do it she'll set a new world's record 